Hello, Tati. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine. 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 Good. I win this very hot day. My God. Yo creo que nos vamos a derretir con todo este gran calor. Es terrible. Sí, sí, bastante, bastante calor. It's, it has been really horrible. Ya debería ser nada. Ah, cabal. Hoy cuando queremos lluvia, nada de ellos. Hello, Ilse. Hola, teacher. How are you? How are you? Good, fine, excellent. So, so good. Good. Okay, very nice. Welcome. Now the ladies were the first one. And Steven, there is Steven is always the first one, right? But now he was number three. Ganaron las chicas Teddy. Okay, so let's wait for everybody to come and connect, and we're going to work. It is a big pleasure to have all of you here and for sure to have another opportunity of learning. Okay, so welcome, Mr. Steven. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hello, hello. Hoy no va a pelear con su audio. Prueba a ver si le funciona. No, yeah, I can listen to. I can listen to. It is very clear. Well, it is. It is nice to start another opportunity of learning, right? To have another opportunity to practice, and for sure to have another opportunity to see each of you. Today, we are going to work a little bit on the practice of countries and nationalities. We are going to work on sentences, right? We're going to work on descriptions and professions. So we have many things to do today, okay? We are going to do many, many good things. And let me open my presentation. So I can share my screen with you. And here I go. So tell me, what did you do on your day? ¿Qué hicieron en su día? A ver, cuéntenme. Uh -huh. ¿Qué hicieron ahora? Y después de llegar a la casa para la clase. Yeah. So yeah, it, it is it is almost yeah, it's almost always the same, right? It is almost always the same thing to say, okay, I arrive home and then to the house, and we don't do much, right? It's only we only do that, right? Only working and working and working. <laughs> That's the only thing. Okay. So uh, that's basically what we need to do, right? That's basically what we have to do. It is just practicing, working, and just, just that, right? So today we're going to start by practicing a little bit on the questions, right? We're going to practice a little bit on the questions. And here I have some examples. So I hope that you had a beautiful, they at least working and coming back from work, right? But I hope that it has been nice and wonderful. We are going to start by practicing a little bit the questions, but I wanted to start the day with the phrase of the day, okay? What is the phrase of the day? What phrase of the day? What is the phrase of the day? The phrase of the day, the quote. What is the quote of the day? It's there on your on your screen. 
It's on the screen. Está en su pantalla. What is the quote of today? Help me to read it. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. Exactly. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. What is the meaning of this? And if you don't know, you can ask me, teacher, what is the meaning of what? What is the meaning of today? Okay. Or if you know the meaning of the sentence, give me the meaning. Si saben el significado de toda la oración, denme el significado. Si no, pregúntenme palabras específicas que no conozco. What is the meaning of improve? Improve is when you do something better the next time, right? For example, I am learning to drive a car, right? Estoy aprendiendo a manejar, pero el primer día, eh, maleta. El segundo día, más o menos. El tercer día, mejor. El cuarto día, mejor. El quinto día, súper bien. El sexto día, bien dice, right? Improve, mejorar, right? What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. What will be the meaning of this? ¿Qué significaría esto? What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. What is the meaning of what you do today? ¿Qué significa what you do today? Uh -huh. Vamos, abran su micrófono y denme su opinión. What is the meaning of what you do today? Como hacer dulce que hacer. Que hagamos hoy. Lo que hagas hoy, exactly like that. Lo que hagas hoy can improve. Can, it's puede. Improve, mejorar. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow, okay? Lo que hagas hoy puede mejorar todos tus mañanas, ¿ok? En este caso, tu futuro. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow means that lo que hagas hoy puede mejorar y cambiar tu futuro. So, that's the phrase of the day. You can copy it if you want, right? La pueden copiar para que les quede ahí en su cuadernito. Para que digan, ay, la teacher me da una frase todos los días. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. Read it with me. What you do today. What you do today. What you do today. What you do today, what you do today can improve. Can improve, can improve all your tomorrow. All your tomorrow. tomorrow. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. What you do today can improve all your tomorrow. Can improve all your tomorrow, right? That's the quote of the day. The meaning of quote is frase. Frase celebre. The quote of the day means frase del día, right? That's the meaning of quote. Frase. The quote of today, it's la frase del día, right? So, Excellent. Let's move on business. We are going to move back here to the presentation. WH questions. When we use the, well, we have studied different questions, right? Hemos usado diferentes preguntas, diferentes preguntas con yes or no, eh, on the answer. Preguntas que comienzan con is or are, right? So those are another type of questions, right? With are, like for example, eh, are you from... Uh, Guatemala, and there you have, on the option, you only have yes or no, right? People, are you from Guatemala? So you say, oh, teacher. No, I am not, right? No, I am not, because you are not from Guatemala, right? You are from El Salvador. So in that case, you say, no, teacher, I am not, okay? But they are and is questions. What about the other ones? The ones that start with what? What means que. When means cuando. 
cuándo, día o fecha. When. Who is quién. Where is dónde. Why is por qué. And how is cómo. Okay. Those are the different WH questions. You have what, when, who, where, why, and how. how. What how. is the meaning of what? ¿Qué significaba what? Les dije. Okay. 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 Right? Okay. Es ese en general. Right? What is your favorite food? What is your favorite color? What is your uh, favorite month of the year? Que, cual, right? Que, what? In that case, when, cuando, cuando. When do you have classes, people? When. When do you have classes? Every day. Every day, very good. When do you have classes? Every day from Monday to Friday. Okay, you have classes from Monday to Friday. And you say every day, right? Who? Who means quien. It's una persona. Who? If you say, for example, okay, I am receiving English classes with Insafor. And people say, who is your teacher? Who is your teacher? What will be your answer? Cuando te pregunten, who is your teacher? What is the answer? Is Tati? Teacher Nati. 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 Is Nati? La, la, la Tati. La Tati es nuestra teacher de Vega Adelante. Yeah. <laughs> Vamos, Tati, <laughs> siga. <laughs> Nati, Nati, Nati. Teacher Nati, right? Where? Where do you receive the class? Where is donde, right? Where do you receive the class? In the bedroom, in the living room, in the dining, in my house, right? In my house, right? Where do you receive the class? In my house, good. Virtually, say virtually, it's virtualmente, virtually. Where do you receive the class? I receive my class. Virtually. Virtually. Or you can say, I receive my class online. Right? That's the form. Why? Why are you studying English? Why are you studying English? Give me a reason. Because I like English, because I need to learn, because I want to work, because I love it, because I want to sing songs in English, because I want to watch movies in English, because I like the language, because it's important for the job, because I want a better job. Why do you want to learn English? Uh-huh. And I will simplify that question and I will make it on the on the board. I will take this question to the board. Okay, give me a second. And I say, I will make the question right here. Why do you want to learn English? Okay. Or why do you want to learn English? And here you can have a lot of answers. You can say, I want to learn English because, because what? ¿Cuáles son sus razones? I want to learn English because, uh -huh. ¿Cuáles son sus razones para aprender inglés? Because it is important for my job. Because it is important for my job. 
Another reason. Give me more reasons. Uh -huh. Because of my personal separation, right? Because I want to move forward in my life. I want to move forward in my life. Quiero superarme. Okay? Another one. Because I needed to practice more. Because I need to practice more, right? Because I need to practice more. Another one. What is another reason? ¿Qué es otra razón que los tiene aquí conmigo a las siete y media de la noche? Y nos están viendo ahí la dueña. Ah, no, que quedan a esta hora. Yo no veo tele, pero quedan a esta hora. El noticiero. Código 21. No, no muy temprano. Uh -huh. Why do you want to learn English? I need all your reasons. Deme todas sus razones. A ver, Christian, why are you learning English? Una mejor oportunidad en el trabajo. Okay. Because I Okay, because I want better job opportunities. Okay, because I want better job opportunities. Right? Those are the different reasons to learn English, right? Because I want better job opportunities. Because I like it. That's a good reason. I am learning English because I like it, because I like to study, because I like the language, right? So those are different reasons that we can have in order to learn English. Practice with me. I want to learn English because it is important for my job. Go with me. I want to learn English because it is important for my job. Vamos, everybody. I want to learn English because it is important for my job. I want to learn English because I want to move forward in my life. I want to learn English because 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 I want to move forward in my life. I want to learn English because I want to move forward. In my, in my life. I want to move forward in my life. I want to learn the English because I need to practice more. I, I want, want to learn English because I need to practice more. Because I need to practice more. Very good. Mm -hmm. I want to learn English because I want better job opportunities. I want, I want to learn English because I want, I want better job, job opportunities. opportunities. Better job opportunities. Better job opportunities. Okay, better job opportunities. And the last one, I want to learn English because I like it. I want to learn English because I like it. I, I like, like it. I like it, right? I, I like, like it. it. Okay, so choose one of them. Escojan una de esas razones y hagan la vida. Okay. ¿Por qué es importante para mi trabajo? Lo voy a hacer mucho mejor. Porque quiero mejores oportunidades. Voy a aprovechar cada clase. Voy a investigar más. Porque necesito practicar. Practice. Because I like it. Enjoy it. Okay. So. Those are some of the reasons why you want to learn English, right? And that's what makes us being here every single night. 
the question how. How, it's like, como, cuanto. If I say, how old are you? How old are you? What will be your answer? How old are you? And in this one, we are going to invite our friends the numbers, right? Let me just pull them into the meeting. And let me see. I am going to share my other screen with you. Give me a second. Okay, just give me one second. And in this one, if I say, how old are you? And I am going to jump here. The numbers in English, right? The numbers. In this one, it is a little bit complicated in some cases. I am going to share it with you here. And here we go. Okay. The numbers in English. To answer the question, how old are you? We need to invite the numbers, right? We need to invite the numbers because if not, we don't know how to say the age. And it is important to know the pronunciation, okay? So we start with the easy ones. The easy ones, the baby numbers. The baby numbers are the ones from zero to 10, right? In this case, we have zero, right? Zero. One, okay? It is, uh, I, have to, I have to include that, for example, zero in the phone numbers, you say, oh. Oh, okay, for a phone number, you say, oh. for a phone number, you say, oh. Imagine that your phone number is this one. Okay. For a phone number, cuando estamos hablando de números de teléfono, el cero se, se pronuncia O. Okay. O. It's 7023-4033. That would be a phone number. 7023-4033. Okay. That's the, the one difference that you need to remember, right? For phone numbers, it's O. Oh. For num num just normal numbers, zero. Okay. The next one you have one. What? Right. One, one, como el perrito. One, one. Then you have two, two, three, four. Jose, dime. ¿Por qué no es zero? Y este, ¿por qué, eh, ¿Por qué ese cambio? Okay. Ese es algo específico para los números de teléfono. Es como para especificar que es un, es un cero en números de teléfono. Es un, una cuestión bien extraña en realidad. Es de esas reglas del idioma que uno dice, ¿eh? Ellos lo querían hacer diferente, ¿verdad? Right? Para diferenciar el cero de matemáticas con el cero de teléfono. That's the only reason. ¿Qué? Okay. Es como nosotros con nuestro subí para arriba y baja para abajo. <risa> Es una, es las reglas estas del idioma que uno dice, bueno, qué detalle, vea. Okay, es para diferenciar nada más que nos referimos a un número de teléfono y, a un, y no a un número, por ejemplo, de un precio o que no nos referimos a un número de matemáticas. O sea, es así como, hey, vea, y sus cosas. Seven, oh, oh, oh. Seven, oh, two, three. So you say seven, oh, two, three, four, oh, three, three. That's how you say it, okay? And it is only seven, when you... Seven, seven. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. That's the number of Janet, right? Seven, <laughs> seven, seven. Addy. So for seven, this one... Seven, seven, oh. Oh, seven. Five, seven, seven, nine. Three. Three. Okay. <laughs> vamos, a, vamos a guardar ahí el, 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 el misterio del número para que no nos haga aquí público. <laughs> de ahí la van a andar llamando los fans. Por culpa de dicha nativa. Zero, one, two, three, four, 
five, five with the V, right? El sonido de la V, bien marcado. Say five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then you have 10, 11, 12, 12, okay, 12, con el sonido de la V siempre, B, right, 12, el enemigo de todo mundo, 13, 13, acuérdense de birthday, 13, 13, no me digan tirtín, tuertín, tistín, tarstín. No, he, he oído tantas pronunciaciones en mis 19 años de vida docente. Pero la más común es tuertín. And I say tuertín. Well, only one eye, I say tuertín. No, it's 13. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19. We need to remember that in this case, the strongest part is the team. Okay? ¿Qué diferencia, por ejemplo, qué diferencia un 15 de 50? The difference is here. Ok, la diferencia va en la fuerza de voz. En los, de los 10 al 20, por ejemplo, la fuerza de voz va en la segunda sílaba. Decimos 13. El 13 es como más alto, ¿verdad? Say 13. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ok. Y del 50 al 100, o, o, perdón, del, de los números, por ejemplo, del 40 en adelante, 40, 50, 60, 70, you say 50. Es la primera sílaba la fuerte. So, in these ones, for example, you say 40, 40, 50, 60. Okay? The first one is the strongest part. You say 60. 50. Okay? Porque si yo le pregunto cuántos años tiene y usted me dice 15, 15 or 50, puede ser la diferencia entre 30 a 40 años entre una y otra. Si usted me dice wow. eh, 70, 70 or 17, 70 o 17. So you need to be very careful, right? Imagínese que alguien le diga. Este, no sé, eh, ¿cuántos dólares quieres que te dé? Y usted se le dice 70. 70, 70, ok, solo 17 te doy. No, 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 70. Ah, that's the pronunciation was the problem, right? Quédate con tus 17 nombres, no te doy 70. So, 17, 19, 18. Practice with me. 12, eso es normal, 12. 12. 12. 11, and that's 12. normal as well. 11? 11. 12. 12. 12. 13. 13. 13. 13. You say 13. 13. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, a la banda. It's 21 pilots. 21 pilots, right? 20, 20. Say 20, and then you join it with this one, right? Ahí volvemos con esta. 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29, 2010 no existe. Ya me ha pasado. Y se los digo. Todos los ejemplos que les pongo son experiencias vividas. No van a creer que la teacher se inventa las cosas. Ha pasado. 2010, teacher, dice. No. 37, 37, 38, 38, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39. And then we go with 40. 40. Este otro que por favor no me digan 40. 40 teacher. No, 40, no, 40, 40 plexa, pero nosotros no, 40. 40, 40. And you say 40. It's the same thing. Okay? Tenemos que enfocarnos en aprender a mencionar el principal. And you say 40. Porque los otros son 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Okay? Practice the one with me. 40. 40. 41. 41. 42. 43. 43, 44, 44, 50. Ok, lo voy a silenciar porque todos están echando el chambre. El YouTube de qué? que no hay que no, 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 no. 50, 50. So you say 50, 50. Tenemos dos sonidos de F. 50. Say 50. 50. Practice the sound. 50. 50. Okay, this is 50, 50, the sound, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, bounce, talk, conmigo, 51, 51. 52. 52. 52. Okay. Jose, tell me. The microphone's ready. ¿Por qué en el 40 es 40 y en el 50 es 50? That's the number. Aquí ese es 40. 40. Right? Ese es el nombre del número. 40. Ah. La, la terminación eh, termina ri y en 50 ti. Ya, yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, say 40. Say 40. Y one es 50. Porque es la unión de la F y la T. Soy say 50. 50. Ok. Soy say 50. This is 40. Porque esta suena más la R que la T. Y aquí es más fuerte la T. Say 50. 50, 40. Okay, that's the pronunciation. Y por eso les dije que es un error bien común que todos pronuncian 40. Y no, aquí la pronunciación más fuerte es la de la R. You say 40. 40, and this one is 50. 50. Because this one is 60. Esta también termina en T. Okay. 60. Okay, and this, the, the strongest is the T sound. Alma, tell me. Sure. Eh, estaba eh, eh, comprado un libro. Eh, Ajá. De, ah, están los números. Ajá. Y es, viene cómo se escribe. Y, ¿Y cómo se pronuncia. Ajá. 
Y en el 40 está 40. Ajá, ya ven. Ajá, ese es un error bien común. Decimos, for, y mucha gente dice 40. Y no es 40. It's 40. 40. 40. 40. Ajá, igual okay. que 30 está en 30. 30. And it's like 30. 30. But that's a lot of a matter of pronunciation. Ahí right? es cuando ya vas limpiando la pronunciación, que ya vas, ya vas haciendo tu pronunciación ya más cercana o lo más similar posible a la native pronunciation. Right? Porque si usted le pregunta a un americano, por ejemplo, no le va, si usted le dice 40, no le va a entender. Si dice, I need 40 bucks, say 40. Ok, 40, it's the pronunciation, say 40, ok, and say, like, ah, ok, right, it's so 50, 60, 30, ok, so, but that's good, ese libro es muy bueno, es muy bueno, solo hay que ir como limpiando esas pronunciaciones que, que les adoptan ahí de repente, ya, yeah, usted, usted, ahora hágale usted la corrección, ajá, cabal, vamos a corregir ahí, that's, and it, it is good, right, es una cuestión de pronunciación. Cuando ya vas acercando más tu pronunciación a lo más nativo posible, sí. Por ejemplo, alguien que aprendió un inglés mexicano, por ejemplo, te va a decir 20, 40, 50, 16. And they do it like that. And it's very, it's very Mexican. El acento, ¿verdad? Exactly like that, right? And when you go and you want to sound as American as possible, you say 40, 40, 50, 30, right? But that's good. It's good. Okay. It was a very good comment, definitely. So okay. there we go. Let's continue here with the one that we were working. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Then you go with 60. 69 and then we go with 70 70 Okay, 79. Very good. And then we go with the big numbers, right? We go with these ones. We go with, for example, here. Let me move here a little bit. We go with 80. 80. 80. 80. And it is the same, right? 80. And you go 81. 80 90. 90. 90. And how do you read 90? A ver, lean ustedes 90. 90. 90. 92. 93. 94. 95. 96. 97. 98. 99. 99, right? 99. And then you go with the big numbers, right? 100. And it's the same, 100, 101, 102, 3, 4, 120, 21, etc., etc. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Esto es 100, las centenas, right? 800, 900. Y ahí va lo mismo. 800, 1, 2, 3, 891, 
897, right? Ahí va subiendo el número. Y de ahí, números más grandes. Say, thousand. Esos son los miles. One thousand, two thousand, ten thousand. One hundred thousand. Cien mil. One million. Ten million. Imagínense ese gran número que tienen ahí. 123,456,789. That's a big number. Okay, and how do you divide it? How do you divide it? You say 123 million. Okay, 123 million. 456,000. Y 789. Okay. Ahí dividimos los tres. Ahí dividimos los tres. 123 million. 123. 457. 789. Cuando tengan un número grande, divídanlo primero. Tres en tres. And then you can do it like that, okay? Sacan los primeros tres números. 123. ¿Y qué son esos? Millones, vea. Say, 123 million. 456,000. 789. Very good. It is a big number. Y toda esta enseñanza que dimos esta gran vuelta es para que me contesten la pregunta, how old are you? Yo siempre lo llevo más allá, ¿verdad? o sea, aquí está la barra y yo la llevo por allá. Es para que aprendan, a mí me gusta que aprendan de todo y que aprendan bien. So, how old are you? Are you 65? Are you 74? Are you 80? Are you 100? How old are you? I am 38. I am 38. What about you? I am 33. 33. How old are you? Todos me van a contestar. Así que practiquen su número. I am 27. 27. Wow, me acuerdo cuando tenía 27. <laughs> I am 27. You say good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Todos, todos. I, am, I am 29. 29. 29. Okay, vamos a buscar al adulto a cargo. I am uh, 20, 22. 22. Okay, 22. What about the I, rest? I, I am 24. 24. Good, 24. Oh my God. 29. 29, Christian. 29. <laughs> I am uh -huh. 37. 37. 37. Okay. 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 37. 37. 37. 37. You told me? I am 30. 30, okay, 30. Leticia Ortiz. Ah, Catherine, vamos, vamos. I am 19. 19, oh, the baby, I'm taking it. 19, Leticia? I am 19. 19, tight. Good, let's see. So we finished. Leticia Gonzalez, how old are you? Oh, Catherine Romero. Uh -huh. I am 24. 24. Hey, my God. Soy el adulto independiente. A cargo. <laughs> la vejez ha tocado justo aquí en la columna. <laughs> okay. Busquen a un adulto más adulto, por favor. So, Leticia, how old are you? Leticia, Leticia, Leticia González. Niña Leti. Mira, le vamos a poner la, la edad nosotros. 42. Para no ser yo la más grande. 
<laughs> okay, good, good. Letty, how old are you? Uh, Thirty-two. 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 Ah, ya, pues sí. Ni modo, me quedo. Me quedo. La adulto independiente. Okay. Consejo del adulto independiente. Busquen a un adulto más grande. Teacher, how old yeah. are you? I am thirty-eight. Thirty-eight years old. Imagínense, he sido maestra la mitad de mi vida. Nineteen <laughs> years. He, 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 sido, he hecho esto que hago por 19 años. Imagínense, empecé justo a la mitad de mi vida. It was good. Right. Yeah. Justo en el momento cuando el que se estaba inscribiendo a la clase me dijo, ay no, ojalá que no sea uno de estos bichos los que me van a dar clases. Y yo, yo era la maestra. <risa> y yo, Ay, ojalá que no esté alguna bicha de estas que no está de verdad, le dije yo. And I was the teacher. Y cuando le dije, bueno, buenos días, bienvenidos a la clase, mi nombre es Nati. El doctor estaba así como, ah, ya placer, ¿verdad? <risa> 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 no, but he was a good student, right, doctor? Doctor Rendón, donde esté en el mundo. Saludos. So, it, it was a, a little story, right? So, please. Never think that you are too young for anything. Nunca piensen que están demasiado jóvenes para nada, ni demasiado mayores. So, 30. Remember, 30. What day is today, people? What day is today? What date is today? Is it the 19, the 11, the 12? The 20 of June, right? Today is the 20 of June. What time is it? What time is it? Seven forty-seven. Exactly. Okay. For the times, for the times, escogemos el número primero y después el complemento que son los dos números más grandes. Right? It's seven ten. It's seven fifteen. Seven twenty-one. Seven forty-eight. Right. In the case of right now, what date is going to be tomorrow? Today is the 20. Tomorrow is going to be? 21. Oh, 21, right? 21, because today is 20. Tomorrow is going to be 21. In which day is your birthday? In which day is your birthday? My birthday is on the 15th. Uh, okay, three. What's on the three? ¿Qué día, ¿Qué día es tu cumpleaños? El tres. Okay, tres o trece. Thirteen. Thirteen. Let's continue with the next one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Edwin, what day is your birthday? ¿Qué día cae tu cumpleaños? ¿Qué día es? Es 15, 18, 20, 21. <laughs> Mamá, ¿qué día cumpleaños? Mi papá de seguro me ama. Hijo, ¿cuál es tu nombre completo? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, es cierto. Ah, es sí. No le está preguntando a su mami. Mamá, qué día nací. No sé, hijo, te encontramos. Te encontré por ahí. ¿eh? Es el chiste que le va a mi hermano. No sé, yo a vos te encontramos. ¿eh? Eres adoptado. Yeah, that's, I think everybody has been adopted. Right? Creo que todos hemos sido así alguna vez con nuestro hermano. Ajá, Edwin. Yo tengo hermano. 18 de junio. 18 de junio. Ay, no tengo hermano. Dice que. Por Dalila. Tú aquí tenés, mira, 14. Adopt, adopt us, ok? Adoptenos. Hashtag todos somos hermanos de Dalila. Good. Okay. Eso va a ser el hashtag de la semana. Dalila's, Dalila's siblings. Ok, siblings, that's a good thing. How do you say hermanos in English, teacher? You say. 
siblings, cuando son revueltos, hermanos y hermanas. Siblings. Sí. Sí. So you say, they are my siblings. Son mis hermanos. Sí. Si solo hay varones, decimos, they are my brothers. Okay, they are my brothers. Si solo son niñas, decimos, they are my sisters. Okay, they are my sisters. My brothers, y si son mezclados, siblings. Así que ahorita, hashtag Dalila's siblings, okay? Ahí está. Sí. Todos somos Dalila ahorita. <laughs> so that's todos somos Dalila. Todos Dalila, hashtag. Okay, so that's the use of the numbers, as you can see, okay? It is important to know the numbers, right? Le pueden mandar la, la imagen de los números en este momento para que la tengan. And let's go back to the presentation of the questions, okay? So as you can see, we have the different forms of the questions, right? What, when, how, who, right? And let me send you this. And we have the different pronunciations, right? We have the different pronunciations of the numbers. And for sure, the questions. There you have examples of the questions. Ahí tienen ejemplos de las preguntas. Can you read the example of the question? What are the example of the question? Give me the examples of the questions. ¿Cuáles son los ejemplos de preguntas que tenemos? What's your name? Mm -hmm. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? birthday. No, 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 sé en qué andan pensando, pero beer day no es. It's birthday. Birthday. The next one, who is? Who is she? Who is she? La siguiente. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We are you happy? Why? 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 Why are you happy? And how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old? How old? How old are you? Okay. How old are you? How? 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 Como los como como los indios cuando se saludan. How? Say how? How old? How old are you? Okay. Uh, how do you answer the questions? Cuando decimos la pregunta, what's your name? Ustedes tienen que aprender a contestar completo, no pedazos. What's your name? Nati. Nati. When is your birthday? September. No, right? Aquí no andamos por la vida solo dando pedazos de información. So you say, what's your name? The complete answer could be, my name is, okay, When is your birthday? ¿Cómo contestamos completo esa pregunta? My birthday. My birthday is, right? My birthday is. Who is she? How do we answer this complete? She is. Y ahí se inventa quién es. Ahí se le inventa. A menos que le pregunte a su novia, ¿verdad? Who is she? Uh, pobrecito. Pobrecito. Sorry. Say. Ya, si su novia le sale con la foto y le dice, Who is she? Ay, eh, mi, mi prima. <ríe> ¿Sí? La hija de la tía. ¿Qué? Okay? La tía Norma, no te cortas. Where are you from? I am from... Okay. Why are you happy? I am, happy I am happy because, because, okay, how old are you? I am, I and am then you good. continue, okay? Contesten las preguntas en su cuaderno. Pónganle el complemento. Say, my name is Dalila. My name is Catherine. My name is Antonio. When is your birthday? My birthday is September 10, September 4, October, whatever. Who is she? She is my mother. She is my sister. Where are you from? I am from the best country of the world, El Salvador. Why are you happy? I am happy because I am with Teacher Nati, because I am learning English, because the life is beautiful, because pupusas exist. I don't know. Anything that makes you happy. How old are you? I am. And you put the number there. Okay. 
good, 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 good. While you answer your questions, I'm going to call the attendants. Voy a pasar lista mientras contestan sus preguntas. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, no le peguen al niño. It's continue. It's all right, teacher. Birthday. 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 And I am going to send you this other. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah. Yes. Um, para contestar, how old are you? So you say, I am, I am 20, y ahí puedes poner el número. Right? Ajá. So you say, I am 20, 21, 23. Oh, pensé que era I am is. No, no, no porque no. ya tenés I am. Entonces ahí ya tenés el verbo. Say, I am. I am 21, I am 22, etc. Okay. Y para poner el complemento de la fecha, sería day <clears> o... <throat> no, no, no. In the case, for example, of the, the birthday, cuando habla de tu cumpleaños. Yes. Okay. In that case, you say, my birthday is September 40. Is that September 14? Sorry. September 14. Le puedo poner el mes, October y el día, October 10, January 4, okay, and that can be the, okay. the, the, the completion, yes, of the question. Okay, ya entendí. Okay, good, very good. Ah, pobrecito, no me le sigan pegando. No, papi, no boté las cosas. Le ven pegando, mi amor, por favor. Y el niño sí lo Okay, so there you go. I sent you two things on the chat, okay? Les he enviado dos cosas al chat. Les envié los números y les envié otra que vamos a ocupar de los countries and nationalities, okay? So there you have two different pictures on the chat. And so let's go with the attendance. Okay. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? I am going to go with the first one. Okay. Alma Dalila? I am present. Thank you very much. Alma Xiomara, Alba Leticia, present teacher, thank you, Antonio José, present teacher, Cristian Mauricio, present teacher, Edwin Steven, present teacher, Eric Eduardo, Evelyn Janet, Present teacher. Thank you. Heidi Yamilet. Heidi Yamilet is not here. Janet Tatiana. Present teacher. Jose Heriberto Reyes. Present teacher. Jose Oscar Flores. Josué David Salvador. Catherine Alejandra Juárez. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Present teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. 
present teacher. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Ilse Marlene Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Eh, Luz de Jesús Rodríguez. Hey, Lucita, no se conecta ahora. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Okay. Melvin Josué. Rosa Margarita. Rosa María. En Joana Mariela. Present. Thank you. Ilse, ¿a qué hora se conectaste ahí? Um, creo que como... Un minuto o dos después de las siete. Ah, ok. Lo ponen aquí. Ya, yeah, es que no te han puesto el, el tiempo. Ok. So I think it's the same. Good. So, let's continue. Let's continue then. And let's go back. I think that you have finished working on your answers, right? Ya terminaron sus preguntas. Let's go back here and I will start. I will continue sharing. I need Antonio, help me with your answers. Todo, teacher. Yes, all the answers. Only the answers, okay? Solo las respuestas. Ah, okay. Uh, my birthday, my birthday. My name is... Desde la primera. Ah, ok. Mane is Antonio. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, my birthday is. Yo, yo, junio es July, ¿verdad? Junio, June. Ajá, uh -huh. June. 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 13. 13. 13. 13. Ok. Ok. She is mother. She is I my mother. Now. She is my mother. Yeah. She is my mother. Uh, I am from uh, Santiago de Marco. Okay. I am happy because no, no, now is Thursday. Okay. Uh, I am twenty twenty two year old. Very good. I am twenty two years old. Things that we need to change, okay? Things that we need to change. When you say my birthday, my birthday, okay? So that's something that we need to improve. When you say my birthday, okay? She is my mother. Right? She is my mother. That's the pronunciation. When you say she is. The next one, June, July. Say June, June in that case. 13, 13. Okay, good, very good. Antonio, ¿quién sigue? Escoge el siguiente. Um, y con gusto le sé. Así como, vamos a ver. Leticia. Leticia, Leticia, ¿quién? Leticia Ortiz, Leticia González. Ortiz. Leticia Ortiz. Go ahead. Leticia Ortiz, vamos. Vamos, el micrófono, Leti. Tu micrófono, Leti, tu micrófono. Está con... Ahí está. Hoy sí. Leticia Ortiz. My birthday, 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 is, birthday, birthday, birthday is old. She is Michelle. I am from San Luis Talpa. I am happy because thirteen because. Es que esa pregunta no la entendí. Ah, why are you happy? Porque estás contenta. No lo había entendido. Ese, 
no sé cómo responder esa pregunta. I am happy because, because it's Thursday. I am happy because I am learning English. I am happy because I love pupusas. No sé, ¿qué te hace feliz? I am Con... happy because I love your pupusas. I love, I love pupusas. I love pupusas. Because I love pupusas. That's so nice. Eso te hace I feliz. Am... 19, creo que es, eh, ¿qué día? Cumpleaños, ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿cuándo es su cumpleaños? Good. So you say, my birthday is on the 19th, the 19th. Why are you happy? Ah, how old are you? Es cuántos años tienes. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ok. okay. How old are you? 19. Night, I am 19. Right, I am 19, right? Don't worry. Very good. So, Leticia, ¿quién sigue? Este, Leticia González. Ok, la, la revenge, vea. La venganza de las Leticias. <laughs> hey, para película, está bueno para película. Mm -hmm. um, my name is uh, Leticia González. Um, my birthday is is um 13 um june uh -huh. uh, she is my mother she's my mother good uh, i am from uh, san rafael orajuelo good um no sé si, si Thank you, Leti. No worry, no worry. Gracias, Leti. Vamos a seguir con Joana. Yo lo vi, yo lo vi. Joanita. Okay, uh, my name is Joana. My birthday is on January 21. Uh, she is my mother. Uh -huh. I'm from. Santiago Nonualco. I am happy because today was a good day. Very and good. I'm, 20, I'm 29. Very good. I am 29. Today was a good day. Excellent. Joanita, choose another person. Christian. Christian. Okay. Lo supuse, no sé por qué. Christian, vamos. <laughs> Uh, my name is Christian. My first day is October 2. She is my sister. I am from Santiago de Norte. I am happy because I love music. I am 29. I am 29. So you say, I am happy because I love music. Yeah, I love music too. That's so beautiful. Excellent. Mr. Christian, who's the next victim? Ah, participant. <laughs> uh, Ilse. Ilse, go ahead. Amor de amigos aquí me llega. Vamos, oh, Ilse. Is Ilse. My birthday is December 11. She is my sister. Okay, permíteme, Ilse. Yo creo que tenés el ventilador ahí cerquita, vea. <laughs> Cada que el ventilador pasa cerca de la compu, se. Okay, voy a empezar a usar. Ok, vamos. My name is... Siempre, se, siempre nos interrumpe el 20, o sea, te oigo. My name is... Okay. I am... Yo sé que lo que ha de ser, no sé, la señal o algo, porque ya lo apagué. Ajá, porque, no, es que quizás también como no tienes audífonos, quizás hay mucho, hay mucho sonido de ambiente. No, dale. Okay. My name is Ilse. Ajá. My birthday is December 11. Uh -huh. She is my sister. Uh -huh. I am from Ciudad Arce. 
Uh -huh. I am happy because learning English. Because I am learning English. Uh -huh. And I am 30. Good, very good. Ilse, who's next? Can see. Dalila. Dalila, I don't know. Me supuse que era. Amiga, amiga. Dalila, oh. Okay. My name is Dalila. My birthday is March 21. Very good. She is my mother. I am from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I am happy because I love Akina. I love the movies. I love the movies. Movies, okay. I am 20, I am 27. 27? And that's it, right. Remember when you say my name, right? My name, and you close your mouth, right? Mr. Jose Reyes, go ahead. Solo porque no lo veo. Se nos pierde en el universo. Eh? My name is Jose Reyes. My birthday is November 3. November 3, uh huh. She is my sister. I am from El Salvador. Uh -huh. uh, I am happy because I love fish. Okay. I am no, 33. Old. 33. 33. Tenés 30, 33 or 53? 33. Ah, so you say 33, because if you say 53, it's 53, y así ya te ganaste yeah. 20 más. 33. 33. Ajá, ya la esposa así como, quizá un segurito de vida ya, vea. 33, right? 33. Good, ya le van a empezar a dar ahí gelatina, ¿verdad? para las rodillitas. 33. Thank you. Let's continue with whom? Can see it. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Yeah, la vi con gana de participar. Go ahead, Catherine. My name is Catherine uh -huh. Romero. My birthday is April 21. She is my brother. No, she is my brother. I, She's I'm my from... sister, brother es hermano. Si no es hermano, ahí, ok. Ella es mi hermano. Lo siento. Ok. I am from El Salvador. I am happy because I am English class. I am in English class. Uh -huh. I am in English class. I am 24. I am 24. Very good. Kathleen Solorzano. No. Vamos. Kathleen Solorzano. La rebelión de la Kathleen. Vamos. My name is Kathleen Solorzano. My birthday is... Birthday. 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 No. Birthday. Birthday. There you go. Okay. August 4. She uh -huh. is Raquel. I am from El Salvador. I am happy because it is almost the weekend. Uh -huh. I am 19. Very good. I am 19. Edwin, Steven. Vamos. Ah, ¿Te escucha bien? Sí, le escucho claro ah, y conciso. Okay. My, my name is Edwin. My birthday. 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 Ay, yo no sé en qué andan pensando. Ya lo vi. Que ya... The weekend, birthday. O sea, no. Birthday. My birthday is uh -huh. June 18. June, June. June, June 18. And she is my sister Laura. Uh -huh. I am from Armenia. Okay. And I am happy because I like playing soccer and white 
my best friend. Soccer with my best friend. Uh -huh. I am 24 years old. 24 years old. Very good job. Janet Sarabia. Vamos. Where are you? Lay. No, say my name. My name. My name is. Me. My name is Janet. Where is you? Every day, me every day is Monday, twenty four the October. Who is she? She is me sister Vilma. My 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 sister. My sister Vilma. Where are you from? I am in Salvador, Santa Cruz, Anaquito. I am from. I am from. I am from El Salvador, Santa Cruz, Analquito. Okay. In that case, so you say, I am from Santa Cruz, Analquito, El Salvador. Primero okay. lo más chiquito y después lo más grande que es el país. Okay. okay. Continue, continue. Me, are you happy? I am happy because we are I learning English. Because I am learning. Are, because are I am learning. Who are you? I am Learning, 27. Learning English. I am 27. Okay. Good. Learning, yes. la, 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 la. <laughs> Nuestro corrector ahí oh, right. dice, I am happy because I am learning English. I am happy because I am learning English. Okay, cuando decimos eh, la palabra M Y, nunca decimos me. This is my. My name, my birthday, my nationality, okay? My, my. That's the correction, okay? And let me see. Thank you, Janet. ¿Quién se nos queda? Chan, chan, chan. Tatiana, vamos. My name is Tatiana. Uh -huh. My birthday is July 13th. She is my mother. I am from El Salvador. I am happy because I am learning English. I am 29 years old. Okay, I am 20, 30, no, 29. 29, ya le estoy poniendo 10 más. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 29 years old. Very good job. Someone else is missing. Nadie nos falta, ¿verdad? Hable ahora. Cache para siempre. No, right? Good. Okay, excellent. So it was a very good practice. It was a really, really good practice on the questions, right? On the questions and for sure on uh, the different answers, right? My name, my birthday, she is, I am, because, and I am 29 years old. That's a very good practice. Now you can give me complete sentences, right? Hoy ya me pueden dar oraciones completas de diferentes preguntas. For example, if I say, how are you today? You can say, I feel happy. I am good. I am okay. Okay. So you can give me complete sentences. Let's work a little bit on, let me see, let me open it first. Déjenme abrir primero aquí la página. And we are going to work on the presentation. I am going to send you something on your WhatsApp. Le voy a enviar algo a WhatsApp que van a ocupar después. Es una pequeña práctica. If you can open it right now, that would be good. Déjenme se los envío en este momento. Okay. And I will send it to you. It's a practice for the possessive adjectives, okay? You are going to use it later on, but I, I wanted to send it to you. And I also sent you the list of countries and nationalities. Si pueden ir revisando la lista que les envía de los países y las nacionalidades, sería fantastic. Okay? I sent you there a picture with the countries and nationalities, and right now I send you the link for the practice, okay? So, <clears throat> we are going to practice that later on. Right now, 
I am going to open here. Okay. So in this case, we have a little review of the possessive adjectives, okay? A little review of the possessive adjectives, and we are going to complete the different sentences with her, your, its, mine, his, our, or their, okay? The first sentence says, I am Lisa. If you're using I, I am Lisa. What would, aha, uh -huh. what would be the, so you say, I am, I am, yo soy. Ok, si decimos her, estaría usando para she. En este estamos ocupando I, I am Lisa. My. My, exactly, because you are talking about you. My hometown is Toronto, right? My hometown is Toronto. Let me use a. A red one, okay? So you say, my hometown, with the silver, se peló la teacher. My hometown is Toronto. Good. So because you have I, I, my. She is a teacher. What is the possessive for she? Her. Her, Her right? She is a teacher. Her students are good. Her students are good, like you, right? Ben has a brother. Ben has a brother. ¿Qué sería Ben en este caso? Ben. His. Exactly, his. his, right? His. His name is Tom. We love cycling. We love cycling. Cycling is? Why? For we? Uh, our. our. My. Our. 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 Estamos ocupando we. ¿Cuál es el posesivo de we? Our. our. I have our. a lot of books. I have lots of books. I have lots of books. So you say, I, I have lots of books. My. My books are great, right? My books are great. You need to go back. You need to go back. Mom is calling. You say? Your. Your, right? Your, okay? To mama, your mom. Your mom is calling, right? The next one. The monkey is hurt. Ah, está herido. The monkey is hurt. Yes. Its tail is bleeding, right? Its tail is bleeding, right? Its tail is bleeding. Su cola le está sangrando. The cola. The cola. Okay. Tail means cola. Hurt, herido. Bleeding, sangrando. Bleeding. Dave and Dolly, right? Dave and Dolly. Dave and Dolly are siblings. They are. They are parents, right? Their parents. Their parents. Is it okay to say Dave and Dolly are siblings? Their parents is kind. ¿Está correcto eso? Puedo decir, their parents is kind. Their parents are. Exactly, right? Their parents are kind, right? Porque es plural. Their parents are kind. Good job on the practice. So, this is what we just did, right? Eso es lo que acabamos de hacer, solo que lo hicimos individualmente. Say, my name is, I am, I am happy, fantastic, optimistic, I am from El Salvador, I live in. Esa es quizás una de las nuevas que no incluimos en la otra. When you say, I live in, y ahí decimos la ciudad, okay? Where are you from? Es de donde eres. Where are you from? I am from El Salvador, right? 
I live in San Salvador. I am from El Salvador. I live in San Salvador, specifically in uh, what? The center neighborhood. Okay. Vamos con el modelo más grande. I am from El Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I live in uh, Colonia El Maquilis, what? whatever, right? So where do no. you live? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? You answer the question. And the other one that is new, where do you work? ¿Por qué no les incluí esta? Porque todos trabajan en el mismo lugar, right? Where do you work? Todos me van a contestar lo mismo. Pero, ¿cómo lo contestamos? Where do you work? I work at... I work at... Haynes Brand, right? It's, is it like that, no? ¿Cómo se llama su compañía? ¿O ¿Cómo se llama donde trabaja? Um, I work at Haynes Brand, right? I work at Haynes Brand. Okay? So that's the way you answer, right? Then here you have the possible answers complete, right? And it says, hello, my name is Ana. I am 25 years old. I am optimistic. I am from El Salvador. I live in San Salvador. My birthday is on June 21st. Ya vamos a ver los ordinales más adelante. Where do you work? I work at Carnitas Elisa. It's just an example, right? I work at Carnitas Elisa. Here, let's go here. Very common verbs. Okay. ¿Qué son los verbos, chicos? Entremos a este mundo de color y fantasía. ¿Qué son los verbos? ¿Son nombres? ¿Son objetos? ¿Son acciones? acciones. Son acciones, acciones, right? Son acciones que hacemos cada día. And you say, for example, sleep. That's one action, right? To sleep. To work, right? To work. When you go to work every day. Go. Go means ir. Okay. I go to work. I go to church. I go to the supermarket. I go running. I go to the bus stop. Speak is another action that you do every day. Use. Use the phone. Use the computer. Use the tablet, right? Like. I like music. I like uh, video games, right? No, saber. I know about uh, machinery. I know about sewing. I know about uh, cutting, right? De qué, de qué tanto saben en su trabajo? Ah, yo sé de costura, teacher de maquinaria, de esto, del otro. I know about machinery. I know about sewing, sewing, costura. I know about cutting pieces, right? Play, you can play soccer, play the piano, play the guitar, right? Brush your teeth, right? Brush. Brush. Take, take the bus, for example. Take, take, and drive. So those are common verbs. Repeat with me, sleep. 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 Work. 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 Go. 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 Speak. 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 Use. 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 Like. 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 No. 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 Play. 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 Brush. 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 Take. 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 Drive. 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 Right. Those are examples Drive. of the verbs. Okay. How can you complement these verbs? Si les digo que complementemos estos verbos, ¿con qué lo podríamos complementar? So you say, I sleep. What? Si vamos a complementar el verbo. So you say, I sleep. I sleep. What? ¿Qué le pondría de complemento? In my bed. In my bed, right? Very good. I sleep in my bed. Ta-da! I sleep in my bed. Work. I work. ¿Dónde trabajas? I work. I work what? At the factory. 
right? I work at the factory. Go. I go. ¿A dónde vas? I go. I go, to the supermarket. I go to the supermarket, right? I go to the... No, pongamos el store porque es más chiquito. I go to the store. Voy a la tienda. Vamos a la tienda. Muy caro el super. Speak. So you say, I speak... What? I speak... English, right? I speak English. Ahora ya no pueden decir que no pueden hablar inglés. Sorry. No. En el pasado es, no, oh, yo no entiendo nada. Pero ahora que, my name, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Blah, blah, blah. So you say, I am learning. I know the basic. I am learning. I know the basic. I use the what? I use cell phone. I use the cell phone, right? I use the cell phone. What about I like? What is something that you like? I like play. to play. Um, Let's say I like to play soccer, okay? I know. I know. Um, I know the question, no. ¿Cuál es la, la contraparte de la pregunta? I know the answer. Okay, la pregunta. I know the answer. Play. I play. ¿Qué es eso que está en el dibujo? I play guitar. I play the guitar. Right? I play the guitar. Brush. I brush. Brush in the night. I brush my teeth, right? Que te cepillas. I brush my teeth at night, right? I take what? I take the bus. I take the bus. I take the bus and I drive. So, I drive a car. Ok. Si se fijan, todos estos verbos, las oraciones sencillas y todo, se dice, ah, qué chivo. ¿Qué es algo que no ocupamos en estos verbos? Am, is, o are. Porque aquí no me va a decir, I, I am work at the factory. I am speak English. I am go to the store. No. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí ya tiene un verbo específico que está ocupando. So you say, I sleep in my bed. Ese es su verbo. I sleep in my bed. I work at the factory. Work es su verbo. I go to the store. Go is the verb. I speak English. Speak is the verb. You cannot say I am speak English porque me diría yo soy hablo inglés. And that's not logical, right? It is not okay to do it like that. You say, I am use the cell phone. Yo soy uso el teléfono. It is not possible, right? So be careful not to use double verb, okay? No usen doble verbo en las oraciones. You have to be very careful with that. But what happens when you transform this one into third person? Aquí es donde viene eso de que usted dice, pero ¿y por qué el inglés lo hicieron así? It is like that. Si estamos hablando de I, el verbo no cambia. Si estamos hablando de we, you, and they, no cambia. Pero ¿qué pasa con he, she, and it? ¿Ok? Y ahí vienen los chistes de TikTok. Okay? He, she, and it. Al verbo le tenemos que agregar S o ES. Ahí no decimos she, sleep. No, decimos, he sleeps in the bed. Okay? Y no es porque duerma más que usted o que haga más que usted. Es la regla gramatical. Okay? Si es con it, se va S o S. Okay? So, in this case, you say, I play the guitar. He plays the guitar. I 
know the answer. She knows the answer, right? And here we go with the third person singular. Eso se llama tercera persona singular. So, and we say, for example, I play the guitar. Si estamos hablando de he or she. So you say he plays the guitar. He plays the guitar, okay? And that's the form in the third person, affirmative. Okay, that's the way we do it. Let's see more examples, right? Here we have other verbs. Study, wake up. Wake up is levantarse in the morning, right? Wake up. So you say, oh, I wake up early in the morning, right? Wake up. The next one. Okay. So we have shave. Shave is eh, rasurarse, right? Take a shower. Have breakfast, have lunch, or have dinner. ¿Qué significa esto? Have breakfast, have lunch, or have dinner. Tomar el desayuno. Uh -huh. Have breakfast, Tomar... desayuno. Uh -huh. Tomar el almuerzo. Uh -huh. And? Tomar la cena. Exactly like that. Thank you very much, Catherine. So, we have, have breakfast. It's in the morning, right? That's in the morning. Have lunch, a mediodía, and have dinner at night. Drink, drink, right? Beber, Beber okay? Momento de hidratación, a ver, todos tomen agua. Momento de hidratación, tomen agua todos, por favor. Gran calor, se me va a deshidratar. Pausas activas para tomar agua. Drink water, very good. Después no digan que Teacher Nati no les cuido los riñones. Ah, you see, pausas activas para tomar agua. Take, drink water, right? Drink water. Get dressed, vestirse. Clean, clean, limpiar. Okay? Those are common verbs. Practice the verbs with me. Sleep. 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 Work. 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 Go. Go. Speak. Use. Use. Like. Like. No. No. Play. Play. Brush. Brush. Take. Take. Drive. Right. Study. Study. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Shave. 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 Take a shower. Take a shower. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Drink. 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 Get dress. Dress. Clean. 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 Right? Clean. And this is going to be for tomorrow. The daily routine is for tomorrow. We go with the exercise of the night. Give me no. a second. Claro que sí. <laughs> okay, justo cuando le digo, vamos a hacer el ejercicio de la noche. No. <laughs> Eso fue el perfect timing. We are going to check the platform right now. Let me just open it. Deme un segundo. To open it. Okay. Let me see. Okay. And here I am going to share. Here. Okay. Yes, it's this one. Okay. So we are going to go and check a little bit. Give me a second. Here. We are going to check the exercises on the platform. Okay. So in exercise number one, okay, vamos a revisar los ejercicios. What is the answer for exercise number one? 
So what is the answer for this one? Is she Rebecca? Yes, she is. Yes, she is, right? Miguel and Ricardo? Are you. Are you Miguel and Ricardo? Is Tomás? Is he Tomás? Are we friends? No, are we, we are, no, no, we are. no, we are not because we you are, are included, not. right? No, we are not. Are your bosses here? Uh, yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Because yes, bosses, in este caso, es ellos, right? Are your bosses ah. here? Yes, they are, right? There you have the exercises. <clears throat> the number one is the first one we did, right? Este fue el primerito que hicimos. Michelle is a floor manager. He is not a floor manager. I am an assembler. You are a mechanic. Tina and I are teachers, right? Dalila, tell me. Ah, ahí es la configuración de su internet. Está en su teléfono. Ajá, entonces tenemos que buscar la configuración del lenguaje en la, en la página del explorador cuando entra en las opciones tiene que cambiarle a inglés o le pone no traducir no traducir este sitio ok todos me aparecen en español chivo no, no, no entonces cuando entre a su navegador de internet le pone no traducir esta página, no traducir este sitio. Y porque el problema es que la, la configuración de internet está para que se traduzcan todas sus páginas. Entonces ese es el problema. Póngale no traducir esta página. Cuando le sale el anuncio arriba, a veces cuando uno abre la, la página, sale traducir esta página, sí o no. Y a veces uno solo lo quita ¿ve? y le da que sí. Pero ese es el problema. Por eso le sale. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Good, good, good. But it's, it's a good thing. Right? It happens very often. Exercise number three. We did this one. What letter comes before Q? Before. Before is antes y after is después. What letter comes before Q? O. O? o. P. P, right? It's the P. It's the letter P. The next one. How many letters are in the English alphabet? 26, 26, 26. Which are the vowels? I, A, I, O, E, O, A, E, I, O, U. Which letter is next? A, B, C? D. D, right? Which letter is between? I and K. L. A. Really? I. Uh, L. K. Let's see. Uh -huh. It's not uh, L. It's J. J. It's the letter J. A. J. Right? It's the letter J. Okay? And that's it. Right? Todos sus ejercicios tienen que quedar en verdecito. No les puede quedar ninguno en rojo porque si no les baja el progreso. Así que asegúrense que siempre todos les quede en verdecito. Let's continue with this one. His name is Claudia. Is it correct or incorrect? Yes. Incorrect. 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 What is the correct answer here? Hair. 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 Very good. Hair. Okay, it can be her name, my name. It's okay. Your students, your students are nice. Right. Is it correct? Right. Your yes. students? Is that correct? Is that correct? Ocupar your students? No. No. No, no, no. right? It's not correct. It's no. your, your, sin ese. Mean, my name is Julia. Correct. Is it correct? No. Is, 
It's no. incorrect, right? No. Because you have mine, and mine is not correct. This is incorrect. Our teacher is from Canada. No. It is not true. No. La, la oración, si la oración no. está correcta, no es si es verdad o no. 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 Our teacher is from right. Canada. It's correct, right? And I am from Canada. Ah, la colonia. Hay una colonia que se llama Canadá por aquí cerca. Their class is at night. Their class is at night. Right. It's right, right? It's right. And there you go. That's correct, right? Correct. Okay, it's correct. And what about the next one? Sigamos haciendo el último, el último de la plataforma. Oigo a un Kaiser chiquito, no sé quién lo tiene. ¿Quién tiene un Kaiser chiquito? Sí, como el ladridito chiquitito de un pequeño Kaiser. My boss are Elmer Argueta. Is it correct or incorrect? Is mine or Aris? Correct. Is. My boss uh, is. is Elmer Argueta. Nadia and Rita is the new teachers. Uh, are, uh, are the new teachers. We am secretaries. Our, our we are secretaries. He is a doctor. He is a doctor, right? He is a doctor. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right? Yes, I am. Nice job, right? Very nice job. So that was unit number one. El que me diga, ay no, teacher, es que no he hecho la unidad uno, que bien difícil. It's not possible, right? Because we did it already, right? We did unit number one. Here we go with unit number two. We just did this one. Acabamos de hacer esta. So we go. Night at sleep I. What is the correct answer? El primero que necesitamos. Okay, el primero que necesitamos es el verbo. Ah, el verbo, el sujeto. I. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Sleep. I sleep. Okay. I sleep. ¿Cuál es el complement? At night. At night. At night. Right. I sleep at night. Period. Right. I sleep at night. Recuerden leer la indicación. Aquí dice, asegúrese que empieza la oración con mayúscula y termina con un punto al final. Teacher, no me agarra la respuesta. No leímos la indicación. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? He. 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 Verbo? Work. 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 Works. In a factory. Factory. In a factory. In a factory. What is the subject on number three? You. 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 The verb? You go. You go. You go. You go. you go to the cinema, right? You go to the cinema. What is the next one? She. She. What is the verb? She is speak. No, she doesn't. Porque es una negativa. She doesn't speak. She doesn't speak Portuguese. Otra cosa que tienen que tener cuidado con la plataforma son los apóstrofes. Okay? Los apóstrofes. Si no le sale el apóstrofe en su teléfono, cópielo de aquí arriba y péguelo. Okay? Porque a veces eh, la plataforma tira... Ese es el correcto, pero usted le pone esto, por ejemplo. Pone ese para un ladito y ese no es el correcto. ¿Okay? Y entonces se lo va a tomar como malo todo el tiempo. And it is this one, right? She doesn't speak Portuguese. 
the next one you say we we don't we don't use, use computers. computers right we don't use computers and there you go you have all the answers correct okay exactly like that you continue working right do you like music yes i do okay. do you like music yes i do does sarah know english no she doesn't, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, right? No, ella no puede. Do you and Wendell play the guitar? Yes, yeah. we do, porque estás incluido. Do you and Wendell? Does Roberto work in a bank? No, he doesn't. Okay, en la negativa. La negativa. Do Laura and Sally study in the morning? Yes, yeah. they do, porque yeah, estás okay. refiriéndote a otra yeah. persona. Okay, so you can continue working. Así se pueden ir y terminar la sección número dos también. Hagamos el siguiente ejercicio. What do you do in the morning? ¿Qué haces en la mañana? What do you do in the morning? Take a shower. Take a shower. I go to the park. ¿A qué hora vas al parque? I go to the park. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. At midnight. A medianoche. Okay. Bueno, hoy pueden, hoy se puede, ¿ok? At midnight. ¿Vos vas a medianoche al parque? Sí. ¿A qué es, Tire? Se pone bien alegre, así todavía hay bastante gente de afuera. Oh, really? ¿Y a dónde, a dónde vives tú? En Ciudad Arceda. No, ¿a dónde? Ay, ya no te oí, Steven. Todo es un misterio, nunca voy a saber dónde es el parque. Ah, pero Dalila es tu vecina. ¿Dónde es el parque, Dalila? <risa> Ese era un ejemplo, teacher. Ah, ok. Yo dije, vamos todos al parque. Somos tus hermanos y no nos quieres llevar al parque. Está bueno. <risa> I'm kidding. Ah, sí, la voy a llevar a la Plaza Libertad en San Salvador. Ah, ya, yeah, aquí a, a bailar. <risa> Solo que lleva a su pareja, si no va a terminar con el del TikTok. Ok. <risa> Allí se encuentra. Do you don't work. Do you work every day? <risa> do you work every day, people? Yes, I do. I yes, think. I do. Does she brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, mm -hmm. she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. I, the bus at seven in the morning. Okay. I take, I take. No me va a decir I drive, porque si no usted ahí, pase, pase, pase para atrás, niña. Ahí hay espacio. I drive, I take the bus, right? Yo tomo el bus, okay? And there you have the first part of section number two. We are going to finish this one. Se lo vamos a terminar juntos para que ustedes puedan avanzar estas dos secciones ya para esta semana. So, in this one, we have look at the pictures and choose the activity. Acabamos de ver las actividades y los verbos. You say he, number one, takes a shower, wake up, or shave. Wake up. Wakes up, right? Oh. Number two? Number two? Uh, he oh, takes a shower. He takes a, Take shower. a shower. Number three? He, he, brush, he brushes his, his teeth, teeth, right? He brushes his teeth. His teeth. Number four? He, he, he shaves. He shaves. He shaves. He shaves. Right? He shaves. He shaves. How do okay. you say barba? He shaves the bird. Okay, that's a that's a tricky question, right? Here you have. Y vamos a hacerlo por aquí. Desem, tenemos. Beer. Beer. Bird. Here you have this one other. Bird. And bird. Okay. Bear. El primero. Bear. Es oso. Bear. Beer. Cerveza. Bird. Barba and bird, pájaro. 
<laughs> it is one. That's a very complicated thing. Say bear, beer, beard with the bird, and bird. It's a complicated thing, right? But there you have oso, cerveza, barba, pájaro. Bear, beer, beard, bird. <laughs> So there you have the four different complications. I know, I know. Pero ahorita no se compliquen por eso. Complíquense por lo fácil. Ahorita los verbos. Compliquémonos con los verbos ahorita. And the last one that we are going to work on today. So you say, I go to work at 8.45 in the morning. I go or I am to work. Go to work. I go to I work. Go to work. I go to work. Verbo normal porque estamos con I. I usually, no cambiamos verbo. I usually, I usually drive, to work. drive to work. Okay, in this case, because you have I, the verb is going to be normal. I usually drive to work. I always checks. I am check or check my emails. Check check my email. I always check my emails, right? Very good. But I don't always. Y eso se las ayuda yo porque si es una palabra nueva. I don't always reply to them immediately. Reply is responder. Es como cuando te cae un WhatsApp, ¿verdad? rapidito le das reply. Responder, rapidito, right? <clears throat> reply. I, ¿qué comes a las 12.30? I have lunch. I right? have lunch. I have lunch, have lunch at, at twelve thirty. I have lunch at twelve thirty, and those are the examples for section number two. Okay, esa es la sección dos. Así que ya se fijaron qué es lo que tienen que hacer, and please go and complete it. Okay. I need you to go and complete sections number one and two. Las secciones uno y dos ya tienen que estar listas, ¿ok? Ya para eh, que usted ya avance toda esa parte de la plataforma. So please, my dear students, work on sections number one and two. If you haven't finished, please complete it, ¿ok? It is really important to have all this completed. And I sent you this. Eso lo vamos a usar el día de mañana. Así que, porfa, let me just open it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We are going to use this picture, okay? Les envié esta foto. Let me share it with all of you. Déjenme compartirles la pantalla. And I have it here, okay? I shared this picture with you. Okay, la tienen en su eh, WhatsApp. The picture about the countries and the nationalities. I need you please to read. Read the countries, read the nationalities, and investigate different pronunciation if, if you have problems, okay? Si les cuesta alguna pronunciación, abrimos Google. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Y ponemos qué es lo que andamos investigando. ¿Cómo vamos a buscar una pronunciación en Google? How do you pronounce? Y le pones, ¿qué es lo que andas buscando? Imagínate que quieres saber Italy. Okay. How do you pronounce Italy? Okay. Y Google te va a dar la opción hasta con la boquita ahí que se mueve. How do you pronounce Italy? O si no te quieres complicar mucho, le pones Italy pronunciation. Ok. And Google. Okay. And here you have all the other characteristics. Okay. Countries, nationalities, and languages. We are going to use them tomorrow. Los vamos a usar el día de mañana. Así que porfa, estudienlos, leanlos, revisenlos, because we are going to use them. Okay. And that's all for today, my dear class. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please study the countries and the nationalities. And do the practice, okay? Ahí les envío una práctica también en WhatsApp de los possessives. Please do the practice. It is very, 
very necessary for you to practice. And that's it. Tomorrow we are going to study countries, nationalities, languages, and verbs. Okay. Have a good night and I will see you tomorrow, Friday, for your next class. Bye bye. Let's sleep dry. Let's sleep well. Bye bye. Bye bye. See bye -bye. you. Bye -bye.